question 20 of this exercise is kind of similar to the last question of the same exercise the problem statement says ram kali saved rupees 5 in the first week of a year and then increased her weekly savings by rupees 1.75 if in the nth week her weekly savings become rupees 20.75 find n so the weekly savings in the first week are rupees 5 in the second week the weekly savings will be 1.75 more than this so it will be 6.75 in the third week it will be 1.75 more than this so it will be uh, rupees 8.50 and so on so we have to find at, at what week number does the weekly saving number reach rupees 20.75 so very easy question we can do it directly uh, just using simple arithmetic or we can phrase the solution in terms of um, and uh, in terms of arithmetic progressions also so let's first do the direct arithmetic approach uh, so we have to go from rupees 5 to rupees 20.75 and this is a difference of plus rupees 15.75 and every week the weekly savings increase by rupees 1.75 so the so rupees 1.75 per week is the increase in savings that happens every week so total increase is rupees 15.75 increase per week is rupees 1.75 so we just take the ratio of these two numbers and we get the ratio as 9 so it will take 9 weeks 9 additional weeks to go from rupees 5 weekly savings to rupees 20.75 weekly savings now this is week one uh, rupees five corresponds to week one so and because there are now nine weeks after the first week then the week of rupees 20.75 will be nine plus one or week number 10 so make sure that you understand this point carefully because rupees five corresponds to the first week and there are nine weeks uh, that succeed the first week after which the uh, saving hits rupees 20.75 so the week number or the index of the week uh, in which the savings become rupees 20.75 is 10 9 plus 1 or 10 now let's do the same thing let's uh, rephrase the solution in in the terms in terms of arithmetic progressions so we have the first term a is equal to 5 the common difference is the increase in weekly savings every week uh, which is uh, 1.75 and the last term is 20.75 so tn is 20.75 and now let's apply the relationship uh, for tn in terms of a and d so tn is a plus n minus 1d so let's plug in the values so tn is 20.75 a is 5 plus n minus 1 d uh, and d let's plug in the value for d also is n minus 1 into 1.75 so if i subtract this 5 from 20.75 i get 15.75 and this is equal to 1.75 into n minus 1 and now let's divide by 1.75 on both sides so we get n minus 1 equal to 15.75 by 1.75 that is equal to 9 so n minus 1 is 9 and this means n is 1 plus 9 or 10 so in this ap that we wrote for weekly savings every week the term 20.75 comes at index 10 and this means as we saw earlier that in week number 10 the weekly savings will become rupees 20.75 so make sure that you understand the difference between this 9 and this 10. So 9 weeks is the difference uh, or the time elapsed uh, between the savings of rupees 5 and rupees 20.75. So it takes 9 weeks uh, for savings to go up by this much amount 15.75. But the index of the week in which the savings become 15, uh, 20.75 is 10 the index of that week is 10 so the answer to this question is n is equal to 10 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap 
a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.